everybody, welcome to Off Our Needles. I'm Tracy. I'm Jody. And today we're talking about habits of gross knitters. Okay, so <laughs> this is sort of funny, right? Because yeah. when we were reading it, we were thinking, well, I'm not a gross knitter. Apparently, uh, I am. I think I actually <laughs> might be like a little bit. Everybody does something kind of weird. Like we just knit all the time, right? And it's maybe not the most clean of conditions every time we're knitting. I don't know. Well, I always say that because I knit in bed and my animals are in bed, like it feels like a zoo sometimes. So I always have some sort of dog or cat okay. fiber in Your my knitted items. Your dogs are gigantic. Like we're talking animals, we're not talking lap dogs, we're talking German Shepherds. Okay, what about you? I was just thinking about this the other day. Mm -hmm. I knit my first sweater maybe four years ago and I just washed it and I wore it a lot. Well, I just started sweater knitting. So, I mean, that's just been this year, but I've got shawls that I've had for years and years yeah. That I've never washed. Never. Like, never. I, I've knit mittens. I have never washed them. Never. And that's forever ago. So let's dig into our gross knitting habits. So how often do you wash your hand knit? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, it's the same. I wash my socks the most. Cowls, mittens, never. I wear my socks all the time, but yeah. I wash and dry my socks just on a regular cycle. Right. So, so, so do you ever eat at the same time you're knitting? Like, do you think that's gross? Cheesy fingers, knitting, I don't yes know. Yes to all of the above. I know. Right? I know. So apparently we are gross knitters. Yeah, in some way I would have to say, yes, I am a gross knitter. <laughs> are you a gross knitter? <laughs> are you? <laughs> Let's look at the habits of gross knitters. Knitting your own hair or your pet's hair into a project and then leaving it there. Knitting in a public place like an airport and letting your ball of yarn roll on the floor as you knit. Ew. Wearing your knits for years and never actually washing them. Ugh. Knitting on the toilet. Knitting and eating sticky food at the same time. Ugh. Sneezing on your knitting. <laughs> Storing your yarn under the bed where all the dust bunnies live. Storing your yarn with mothballs and then walking around smelling like a gross old knitting mothball lady. Ew. Gutting fish in your hand knit sweater. I don't know, that's a thing, <laughs> right? Like fisherman sweaters? I can't even. Putting your knits away damp and then getting all mildewy and smelly. Yeah. Wearing a shawl or sweater to dinner and using it as a bib. I think I might have done that. Okay, so that list was pretty funny, and I have to say I'm guilty of several. I'm definitely guilty yes. of a few of those, and I don't know how I feel about that. I know, right? <laughs> well, this may, I mean, this inspires me to really think about washing my knits more often, because really, it's super easy. It's not hard. You don't need a ton of crazy equipment. It doesn't take forever. No. I think we should show everybody how easy it is to do. I do, too. Okay. So you hardly need any equipment to wash your knitwear. I've got some of this no-rinse wool wash, which is really a lifesaver. I would say you definitely should get this stuff. Soak is our wash of choice. It's fantastic. Yeah. This is the Soak brand. This is a tub, but you can use your kitchen sink. You can yeah. use your laundry room sink. You can use whatever. So measure one teaspoon per gallon or go like this. Totally. <laughs> That's how who, we do it. Who measures? Who measures soap? Come on. And then so I'm, a little squirt is basically all you need. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to plunk our sweater in. This is actually my sweater that I've had for ever, know, ever and never washed it. This is the virginal washing, right? Yeah. And just press the knitwear right into the water. You don't even need to smush things around. You just let it sit. Do you want to give it a squish, your knitting when yeah, it's in the water? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just squish it and make sure everything's saturated and wet. But honestly, it's just going to soak up that water anyway but and no sink. no ringing. No oh. ringing. Don't oh. ring your knitwear. The water's getting dirty. See, it's a thing. Your knitwear really does get dirty. <gasps> and you can't tell. It's actually going to be amazing to see what this water looks like when we're done. I can't tell you how many times I've worn this, you guys. <laughs> and look at the dirt. Like, it is like cloudy. It's a little bit of an eye opener, isn't okay. it? So this is why, I mean, we tease and we have fun, but we just want you to make sure that you know it's so easy to wash your knits yeah. and they come out so beautifully clean at the end. And you're going to have them forever. The better you take care of your knitwear, the longer it's going to last in your wardrobe. So let's just let this sit for 15 minutes and then we're going to pull it out and show you exactly what's going on with our washing. There are a couple of things you should remember when you're washing your knitwear. You don't want to agitate it, you don't want to wring it out, and you certainly don't want to use hot water. So I usually use something that's similar to like a room temperature water, and that's going to be really gentle on any fiber you're knitting. Okay, here's the big 
reveal. <laughs> I wore it camping. Look what's going on in there. There's a few maybe I... little bits of leaves. So just look at this water. I mean, this makes total sense of why we should all be washing our nets. It's true, and it was really, really easy, and it doesn't take very much time, so why aren't we doing more of this? So join our giveaway to win a whole bunch of cleaning notions. The details are in the description box below. We want your knitwear to last forever. Thank you so much for joining us today on Off Our Needles, you guys. We had a blast talking about gross knitting. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment. When was the last time you washed your knitting? We want to hear all about your gross habits. We'll see you next time on Off Our Needles. Bye. Bye.